Hi, I'm Steve Dillon and welcome to another one of my video blogs. Today we're going to be going over a piece of ephemera that has been in my collection for many years. It's a con catalog circa 1900 and, it, and it's a very fascinating thing and it shows us a lot about what con and, and the musical instrument industry was doing at that time. So come here and share this with me a little bit. Here's the front cover of the uh, catalog and as we can see on it there's cherubs with musical instruments and there's a picture of Colonel Kahn right there. Now the interesting thing about this catalog is it shows the New York City address as well as the Elkhart, Indiana address. Kahn had a store in New York City from the late 1890s around till the early part of the 20th century. So this is a catalog from that store. Now as we open it up we find Kahn's terms, how to buy a musical instrument, one of the certificates from um, instruments that had won at exposition. The next page shows us some of the flutes they were producing. And on this side shows us the artists that were endorsing the flutes. Here we have his clarinets and the artists that were endorsing the clarinets. The saxophone. Kahn was the first one in the United States to make a saxophone, an American saxophone, and they were quite proud of it. It was Gus Bisher who uh, helped design it and, and get things going at the Kahn factory. So this is a, a very early American saxophone. And here are the artists, the great Lefebvre, who played with Sousa and Gilmore, is endorsing it. They made bass clarinets. They made the octavin, very interesting, bizarre instrument. They had oboes. They had bassoons. Now we come to the brass. Here's an E-flat coronet. They called it the New York Wonder. Most of their coronets in the days, or instruments, were called the Wonder brand. Kahn's Wonder Instruments. Here's his New York Wonder coronet in B-flat. And it's interesting, you see the artists, Jules Levy, Asandro Liberate, Theodore Hawk, Herbert L. Clark, everybody's heard that name, all endorsed Kahn. Here's another model of the Kahn coronet. This is the vocal coronet. Another model, this is the American orchestral coronet. A pocket coronet of cons. That's very interesting. Here's a soprano trombone or a slide coronet as they called it. Here's one of the early American trumpets that Kahn was making. He says that Levy, Liberati, and High Henry have endorsed it or given it their endorsement. Flugelhorn. Here's some of the accessories Kahn made. He made conductor's batons. They had glockenspiel. Another certificate showing he has won at an exposition. Mellophone in four keys. This is the solo alto. It's an alto horn basically pointing forward. Here's an alto valve trombone and the alto horns. The American B-flat tenors are what the British call baritone horns. Now we're into the trombones. Here's the valve trombone. And the New York uh, artist model slide trombone. Now why would they call it a New York artist? Well, the top artist who's endorsing the trombone for Kahn here is Arthur Pryor. And he was, sta he was stationed out of New York with Sousa's band in the 1890s and the early 1900s. What they're calling a euphonium. The double bell euphoniums. And if we look over here, Simone Mantia, who was then with Sousa's band, is endorsing the euphoniums, as is many others. The tubas. Three valve top action. And what they call the American model tuba, with the valves in front. Gus Helleberg is endorsing these. They have an American model monster bass. They talk about their new Wonder Helican instruments. 
And then they go into the accessories and drums. They even have fifes. Here's some of their drums that they produced. Bugles. Even, a lot of people don't realize, but Khan even made phonographs. And here are two of those. Music stands. Even some jewelry. And medals. So, with that, we're able to see that Khan was one of the foremost manufacturers in our country, and they were quite progressive in the band and orchestral mu movement in our country. So, if you're ever around the shop and would like to see this uh, catalog in person, please just let one of the salesmen know and they'll come and get me, and if I'm here, I'd be more than happy to bring it out and have you take a look at it in person. Thank you, and until next time.